Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. As you know, it is Friday, October 26, 2012. I'm going to start putting the dates in my videos because uh, so that people, when they watch them, they know how recent they are. Somebody asked me to number them, but I have like 300 videos and to go back over them and number them all, especially when I'm going to be replacing some with more updated versions. So this is going to be the new numerical order that they're coming in. Anyway, as everybody knows, it's deer season today and, um, or starting today or last night in, in Quebec here. And we're going into the hunting camp this weekend. So everyone say a prayer that we get a deer because we don't have enough room to raise a cow. And, uh, although we did raise a steer to 10 months old, but that took a Herculean effort. It really did. Anyway, somebody emailed me and asked me for a good herbal medicinal herbal reference book and a short list of of what kind of herbs to buy well i really don't buy my herbs the only thing i buy it from seed is my borage and my calendula marigolds and i buy those organic because i do use them for uh medicinal properties but the book now, I, I've been through a lot of herbal books. This isn't just the first book I grabbed and went and went to. It's the first book, book I own, but I have bought several since. But this is the one I always go back to because it has a lot of beautiful, um, as you can see, it's really used. Uh, it has a lot of beautiful color illustrations. It not only tells you about the herbs, uh, it tells you how to prepare them, whether you want to prepare them as a decoction, a tincture, um, an infusion, a cream, an ointment. Where do you think I learned all that stuff? In this book. This book is called uh, The Complete Medicinal Herbal by Penelope Odie. And I will write that down in the bottom here. Um I, you can see that I've had this since, when have I had, when did I get this? 1995, I've had this book and I still have not found anything better. And as you can see, I have little tabs in different categories all across the top and I got paper sticking out the corners. This is my favorite herb book. But if you want to, um, if you don't live in a place where your medicinal herbs grow wild, uh, Give yourself a corner of your yard if you can and uh, sow some wild red or organic red clover. Sow some wild um, yarrow and yarrow is pretty easy to find if you go driving in the country and it's because it runs along the edges of woods. Just don't mistake it for Queen Anne's Lace. It's similar, but it's not the same. Uh, you want some comfrey. So I guess you could buy some of these plants. Just make sure you buy, buy organic. You want some com comfrey. You want some wormwood. Or is it wormwort or motherwort? It's motherwort, sorry. Um, along with your traditional uh, other things you put in your garden, like onions, like chives, like leeks. But this, this book tells you that, you know, the medicinal properties of things like cabbage and cayenne peppers and oranges and rose hips and all those wonderful things so and it tells you how to make them into rubs oils all those wonderful things so the complete medicinal herbal by penelope odie my favorite herb book i am and that is not a paid product placement folks that's just my personal opinion on on my favorite book um she also asked when i was going to be doing some knitting videos well today we're going into the hunting camp for the weekend and I'm pretty much just the chief cook and bottle washer in that trailer and I there's not a lot I can do in there so I'm going to take my knitting and if I don't get them all done or all started we are I am going to be doing mittens slippers mittens on four needles slippers on two and socks on four and that way um, that's our, going to be our next few projects, but I can't promise any more than getting the mittens done today or this weekend. But other than that, don't panic if you don't see me this weekend. It's because I'm not here. But look what I got in, in, uh, I ordered from eBay. This is a book on how to knit toys. And these are really old. I know for a fact how old these are because, um, where's the bunnies? 
My aunt used my aunt, God rest her soul, knitted all of these. She knitted these teddy bears. Uh, she knitted. Let me see what else did she knit. She knitted them all anyway. I mean, I used to have a set of cushions from her that she knitted. And look at you can knit your own rag doll. And there's a toy elephant. And there's tea cozies. And what else do we have? Um, there's just you know socks, slippers, mittens. Teddy bears with fur all sweaters on them. I knit those for my kids years ago. So, anyway, aside from mittens or mittens, <laughs> try and say knitted mittens, mittens, um, slippers, and socks, we're going to probably, maybe if I can squeeze them in, do a couple of Christmas projects. I particularly like the idea of this knitted rag doll here. And uh, she even has knitted clothing on, which is really cool. All right, so this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, I have to go to the store and get some yarn and get the new snow tires on my truck. And I will see you guys with my next video on Monday. Take care. Have a good weekend.